Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I've got a fun video today. Uh, I can't believe how fast it was, but um, I've got an SGC order back. It is tuxedo time. Uh, I mailed this the beginning of last week and then got them back this week on a Wednesday. So door to door, it was a week and a half. Incredible. Um, I got an email from SGC that, that basically the order was ready and going to be shipped. I mailed them on Tuesday. I think I got that email on, on Friday. Um, so SGC is killing it. And I will say, if you watch the preview of video, they were really helpful in, in kind of prepping this. So I've got um, maybe 10 cards or so in this order. And maybe what I'll do is I'll start with the... Um, the stuff that I got graded first, and then there's a bunch of, or actually I'll do the reholders first, just because of how this stack is. Um, so SGC was great. There were some that I wanted um, reholdered for my own kind of, you know, um, collection preferences and so on. So I had this Wayne Gretzky All-Star card from 1980-81, and it was in a really old slab, and so I got this updated into um, the new flip and slab so i think that, that looks great love that one i had some um ones that i wanted to re-slab um also in old holders and um some t206 cards and so i had this roger bresnahan which also was in an old old sgc holder it's a 4.5 and now it just looks great in the new 4.5 slab and so that was a really cool one. So I had kind of been setting some aside that needed new holders, and, and so it was fun to, to finally get to send one off. Here's another Bresnahan. Again, T206 Hall of Famer catcher. Um, this is 1909, and there it is. And that was an SGC3. Piedmont back. Um... I had a couple of the last three reholders are ones that SGC actually agreed to sort for me. First one is a soccer card. It's a blue refractor of uh, Nils Peterson in the Bundesliga. Uh, not a particularly notable card uh, necessarily, but um, the flip was way down, like out of the little holder. If you, you can go back and watch the video um, of what it looked like. And so I just had sent a note to SGC and said, hey, will you guys fix this? And they said, sure. So... There it is. And, and of course, didn't charge me. Or I think actually I paid and then they refunded me as soon as I sent the email. It was super easy. So anyway, cool card. Numbered, as you see here, to 199 Anyways, kind of neat. Turned out great in the proper centered flip. I had uh, one more like that. That was a card that I had submitted ages ago. Uh, and it was this Mike Trout. And it's got that kind of mojo shine to it really cool card um it had graded as a nine uh, which was a bit of a disappointment when i had sent this in a year and a half ago or whenever i did um but again i hadn't noticed until recently going through some old slabs that this had popped down like that peterson card and so the folks at sgc said no problem send that one with your next order too so they did the peterson card they did the trout card uh complimentary which was nice and they did one more complimentary and it was this one um, this is uh, another T206 card. This is Harry Hinchman, uh, 1910 Sovereign Cigarettes. Let me show you the back. And you'd have to go back to watch the preview video from a video uh, or two ago to see what was wrong with it. But compared to my other T206 cards, it kind of drove me crazy because the mat basically in here, it wasn't a problem with the flip, but the mat was the wrong size. Um, it was like slightly larger and Hinchman was sitting like a little higher than all my other T206 cars, and it was just, I think, maybe just in the speed of doing orders or something, it got put in the wrong mat, and so now it's just really nice to have it back and in the proper mat, and it was nice of them to, to make it right for me, so I appreciate that. So those were all the reholders. Um, really fun. Like I, you know, and like I said, I didn't have to spend money on, on quite a few of those, which was nice. Um, and of course, I'm more selective about what I'm sending to, to get slabbed um, these days, um, obviously with the price of grading and so on, but I sent uh, four cards, and I'll show you 
uh, what I sent. Um, I guess two baseball, one football, one soccer. So um, let's start with the soccer card. This was a card I got um, raw, obviously, on eBay. And uh, it's a Christian Pulisic, um, the great American soccer star, plays for Chelsea and so on. This is a, a chrome sapphire. And just raw, it just looked absolutely perfect. And I said to myself, all right, this, this card is a 10. And um, I was right. And I was happy that, I mean, I just looked at it and it just seemed flawless to me. And I was going to be absolutely shocked if it wasn't a 10. So it came back a 10, really excited about that. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. It, it really, the camera, I don't think, does it does it justice. And so I have the regular chrome version of this, but this chrome sapphire is just an absolute beauty. I love that Future Stars logo. And so, anyway, this one uh, staying in the PC. Really excited about it. Um, and nice to have back. Okay. Um, one football card. which was a pack pulled by me probably, you know, two and a half years ago. Uh, and it is this Patrick Mahomes Contenders um, from, I believe, 2018. And I knew it was going to just look beautiful in the slab. It's the season ticket. It looked really good to me. Um, the right to left centering looked good. And as you see, it got a 10. So I was really excited about that. I think the white card in the black tuxedo, as we all uh, probably agree, just looks so terrific. Um, SGC slabs are great for vintage, but I think for some of these white bordered modern cards, boy, it looks clean and, and nice. So anyway, we're really excited about that. And um, I don't think that's going anywhere either. I think I'll um, sit tight on on Mahomes, just a fun player to, to collect and have. Um, two baseball cards. One... Uh, Maybe less appealing to my eye, but I think um, has some some nice appeal. And that is a 2018 Shohei Otani rookie from Gypsy Queen. And I pulled this out of a pack, again, two plus years ago or whatever. And uh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I, I had gotten some 2018 Gypsy Queen. I don't remember. Maybe just bought a hobby box or something like that. And I uh, was going back through old cards and, and pulled this. And, geez, it looked pretty good. And uh, there's the back. You know, I like Gypsy Queen. I think it's a fun set. So it looked good to me. I sent it in, and it was a 10. So that's a, that's a decent card. Um, and I think this one I might actually list in my store only to help pay for the order uh, and so on. But I haven't quite decided because this does look pretty great. So there's the Shohei Otani Gypsy Queen number 89 in a 10. And the last card uh, is another Shohei Otani. And it is this 59 Tops uh, version of 2018 Tops Archives, also pulled by me. This is card number 50. Um, shout out to Jeremy, Base 1986. He had watched the other video, and I think he's right that maybe it was a little low uh, in terms of the top to bottom centering. Um, but, um, and again, I think he was right. Um, SGC, I think, agreed that it was probably within their tolerance. And so this one was a 10. I mean, just such a cool white bordered card. Love this retro look um, to the back here. Now, this one's not going anywhere. I think I'll keep keep this uh, in my collection. Just a beautiful, beautiful card to my eye. So uh, if you were scoring at home, I don't do like uh, percentages, gem rate, all that kind of stuff. Although I like, it's fun to watch your all's videos. Um, I was four for four uh, on the cards that I submitted. So I think my eye is pretty decent, even though I'm kind of out of practice. Um, so I was really pleased with that. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. It was a, a blast to do the order and, and uh, be able to show you the reveal and, and in such a quick turnaround. So appreciate you all watching and subscribing and liking and all that stuff. Let me know if you had a favorite card and uh, I'll uh, chat with you in the comments. Okay, take care. Bye.